three stitches and then I do a knit two together yarn over Oops. knit three if you look at the where I just did the yarn over right there I did a knit two together and then a yarn over see below those are yarn overs where the holes are yarn over you're not knitting anything you're just wrapping the yarn around the needle makes a hole okay so I just knit three there and then I do another yarn over and then this is a double decrease so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two over to this needle without doing anything with them knit that one then stick the needle on the left hand back through those two that I did and carry them over <laughs> yeah only when I'm not being doing it slow there we go knit, bring them over and see that makes in the pattern we're bringing this up to a point see how that did that I don't know I don't know if you can see this or not but so then there's a yarn over another knit three that one looks funny see the problem is I'm trying to do this by looking into the camera and not at the knitting because I can't see the knitting okay then a yarn over and now we're going to decrease on this side by sliding one off knitting and then pulling that one back over the top of it that's the opposite of a knit two together okay so now where am I um, Da, 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 da. Now I have to just knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And miracle of miracles, I did it right because this is my center. See, the center goes down. It's just one row of knitting with a yarn over on both sides. So I make a yarn over, knit, oh, see, part of not being able to see, so my yarn over, knit, yarn over. Okay, so that's my center. And normally I would have stitch markers in this. I'm not far enough along, I think, that I put stitch markers in. A lot of people do have them in uh, at this point, but I don't. So. Um, not at this not at this point so now I repeat that got me to right, let me go to the pattern here I'm actually on this row right here I just did these six stitches those are six knit stitches a yarn over which is the whole or a circle then a knit then a yarn over and the reason these are shaded is you only repeat them once and then this space, so now we go back here and we do the whole thing. I'm in the middle of the shawl, so we go back over here, and I'm going to start right here and do it a second time again. Because if you see down here in the pattern, it says repeat chart stitches. So this is your center, and you repeat this part here twice. There's my, and then this, the great areas you repeat only once. So this you're repeating once, and this you're repeating on the other side. That makes your two outside edges. And then this is the middle. So this, so she didn't have to put this on here. A lot of designers do this, so they don't have to write this part out again. They'll just leave it where that says repeat chart stitches. So I love charts. See, if this was all written out, I don't have a sample of that with me. But if this was written out, it would be like in a different language. It would say K1, okay, for example, um, let's see. So this row I was on would say like K1, K1, Y, like Y-O is yarn over usually. K1, 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 or it would say K1 and then in parentheses and repeat, you know, 
nine times, whatever that is there, and then it would say Y-O, and you know, it would just, it would be written out like that, and that drives me crazy. Um, but instead you have what I'm doing here. Oh, don't you love this? Like here, downtime. <laughs> Let's give you something to look at. Uh, let me look at, I'm looking for other pattern instructions. Okay. Instead, with what I have here, see it says here, mystery shawl along, first clue. So, sorry, I don't want I, I don't want to get in trouble by giving too much, but I, I don't know if she watches YouTube, YouTube or not. But here's the abbreviations used, see, where it's just a blank square. It says knit right side, purl wrong side, stockinette stitch. Where it's a dot, knit right side, knit wrong side, it's a garter stitch. Y yarn over, it's the circle. This one, see, knit two together, where you knit two stitches together. This is, a, you slip one, that's what S1 is, knit one, pass slip stitch over, it's P-S-S-O. Uh, slip one stitch as if to knit, knit the next stitch, pass the slip stitch over. And then this is a double decrease. And you slip two stitches together as if to knit two together, knit the next stitch, and pass the two slip stitches over. This is, these are, these are common abbreviations that are used in all kinds of knitting. Pretty much you learn this and that's, this is it. These are the stitches that will be used in this entire shawl. Um, nothing else, that's it. And it's just a combination of those and knowing where to do it. Um, and that's how you, how you follow the pattern. And I encourage anybody that is a knitter, oops, let's get back to this. Anyone that is a knitter should try this, I think, because I think it's incredibly beautiful when it's done and you have a great sense of accomplishment and it's fun. Well, you know, some people don't think it's fun, but for me, it's fun. Okay, so that's my six stitches after that. Knit two together, yarn over, knit three. Whoops. See, when I'm not watch watching, I can easily split this yarn. And there's knit three, yarn over, and this is our double decrease. I'm going to slip two off, knit, knit one, stick my needle on the left hand through those that I did and pass those slip stitches over, and we've decreased by two. Does that look right? Ha! Huh, I'm asking you, and you're looking at me like I'm crazy. I think that's right. I'll have to go back. See, I go back and count a lot. You do a lot of counting with this. Okay, that's the center back again. See, but isn't it pretty? What do you think of that yarn? I like it. Anyway, oh uh, my time. I'm looking at almost nine minutes. So, anyway, I'll leave you with that. That's our little lesson for today. What do you think? Loving it? You feeling the love? See, look at this down here. Isn't that pretty? And all those are is these are decreases and yarn overs. Honest to God, I would not lie to you. That's how, how you do it. Okay, let me put some white behind this. So you can see it. it. Makes a beautiful, beautiful shawl. And Renee, the designer of this shawl, her website is Goddess Knits. And it's it's great. These knitting, these uh mystery shawl alongs they she charges five dollars and at the end you have this beautiful pattern and uh, that's why I'm not going to show you more detail because it would be a copyright infringement if I were but just from the little bit I've showed you there is absolutely no way you could make this shawl but I ex go to her website goddessknits.com and please if you're interested in some of her patterns you can't go wrong with any of her patterns she's fantastic tell Renee I sent you well she won't know me from Adam because she knows me by a different name, my Yahoo name. Anyway, thanks guys. Ten minutes. Oh no, it's like snark. I gotta go. Bye.